Hey guys, Ray here, and welcome to my updated video on creating slow motion using free software. All you're going to need for this effect is GoPro Studio, which you can download from the top link in the description below, and any GoPro clip. Now today I'll be using a clip I shot the other day, which I'll bring up here, at Cedar Creek Falls. Now if you don't have a clip you're going to use, I will put a download link for this clip in the description, and you can feel free to download it and just play around with this clip so you get the hang of the of creating slow motions. I'll also put the settings of this clip on the screen now, and it is a hundred and 120 frames a second clip shot on a GoPro Hero 4. So let's begin. So first of all, you're going to want to download GoPro Studios and then simply open it. Now I'll get the clip that I'm using and just click and drag it into GoPro Studio. Now you can click on it and see that the start, I'm kind of looking at the camera, making sure it's set up. And you can scrub through and see all the footage. Now the guy on this one takes a little while to jump, so I'll scrub through right to the end. So he jumps about. So scrub through until you have your start point. Okay, so my start point's going to be just around here. Maybe a little bit further back. Click the in button. Find your out point. There we go, that'll do. And for this clip, because I shot it upside down so it's more stable, I'm going to want to rotate it. Now you can name this whatever you want. This is just going to be the converted clip. So I'll just call this flip for slow motion. And you can change the directory. So I'm just going to save it in the tutorial folder that I've made for this video. Click OK, click Add Clip to Conversion List, and click Convert. And that's simply going to convert your clip, and then we'll be taken to the next stage. Now the reason I've done an updated video is so I can show you guys Flux, which is a new add-on for GoPro Studios 2.5, and the version I'm using of GoPro Studios is 2.5.2. All right, so now that that's done, we'll just click proceed to step two. Now you can make a template if you want, but I'm just going to be doing a single slow motion clip, so I'm not going to. So I'll just click cancel. Now once you click and drag your clip into the storyboard, it'll GoPro will automatically apply the ProTune preset. So see, I'll just put it back to none. Where's the presets there? So it automatically applies ProTune. There it is, ProTune, but I feel that it's better if I leave it on none, and then I'll do the color correction myself. So whatever color correction you're going to do, you want to do that first. Oh, I'll name it later. You want to do the color correction first because we're going to split this clip up. So I'll quickly go through and just do a, a brief color correction. So exposure. Color correcting in GoPro Studios can be a little hard because it doesn't give you as many options. Normally, I edit my videos in Final Cut Pro. I don't know why that's going to keep popping up. So I'll just do a quick color correction. A bit of a blue tint temperature, sorry. And the tint can be a little yellowy. So now, if we do split, you can see that on the left is the ProTune clip, on the right is the color corrected clip. So it all looks quite good. Now we're going to simply scrub through, and you can see here it'll play back smooth. There's the entire clip. So we're going to scrub through until we want to start the slow motion. Okay, I'll just quickly name the project because it's not going to stop asking me to. There we go. Okay, so you're going to scrub through until you want to start the slow motion. So I think I'm going to leave him jumping in normal speed. Maybe start the slow motion about there. So then you're going to click this cut tool or spit, split clip, sorry, and it'll split this into two. Now simply play through until you want to end the slow motion. So I might end it about here. Click the split clip again. And then I'll also do another slow motion as he's entering the water. So split to start, split to end. So now you'll see we have five different clips. So this one is going to be at normal speed. Start the slow motion, and yep. 
So we're going to select the clip where we want to start slow motion and change the speed to 10% for this one. Now because I'm recording at 120 frames a second, I can change it to 10% and it'll still look quite good. But if you're recording at say 60, even 60, it might be a bit choppy. So you sort of have to play around with that and find what works best for your clip. And here I'm going to slow it down again to might try oops, excuse me might try eight percent this time and see if that works well. So you can see eight percent is a bit. Oh, it still works okay. So we'll leave that as eight percent and then it'll we'll play back out at a hundred percent. And that's the end of the video. So now you see if we go back to the start. You can scrub through, or watch the video I should say, and see it in full slow motion. Now if your computer isn't very powerful, it may struggle at this part, but mine should work fine. So there you have it. We now have our slow motion clip. Now all that's left to do is export. So step three, we'll click export. I'm just going to call this slow motion flip, same place, we'll save it as 1080p, and this little button here, apply flux, you're going to want to click that, because that will apply the flux slow motion, which is new to GoPro Studios, and it'll just give you a bit smoother slow motion. So I can also do a custom, if I want it, if I want to, yep, so I'm going to do a custom, but you can just do regular 1080p if you want to. So I'll do 40, around 45, 45 and a half megabytes per second. That works well. Frame rate. I'll leave it at source for now because that will play back at the speed that you've previewed it in. But if you do it at 29 frames a second, everything else will be slowed down and the slow motion will be even slower. So I'll leave this at source, custom upload, slow motion flip, and export. Now this may take a little while because Flux does seem to take a bit. So I'll get back to you once Flux is finished. Alright guys, so the export has just finished. So now all we need to go do is go find the file. And yep, here it is, slow motion flip. So this is the file we've exported. Now you can see it'll play back nicely and you've got your slow motion clip. You can also add music and make a full edit using clips like this. So there you have it, this is our final clip, I'll play it on the screen now. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see my full Cedar Creek Falls and Gold Coast edit, simply click on the thumbnail on the screen now. You can also connect to all my social media links, which are on the page. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good day. Cheers.